The Berenstain Bears and the Bad Dream by Stan and Jan Berenstain, narrated by me. Some dreams make cubs laugh, some dreams make them cry. It's interesting to think about what they dream and why. Brother Bear was just crazy about space grizzlies. Space grizzlies were little toy action figures that you could collect. Sister Bear didn't like them much. She thought they were dumb and a little scary. Mama Bear didn't mind them except when Brother brought them to the table or left them on the stairs. Papa Bear didn't care about them one way or the other. But Brother cared about them a lot. He cared about them so much that he did chores for neighbors to make extra money so he could buy more. He had quite a few, but the store had more. A lot more. He was saving up to buy Sleezo's Cloud Castle. Sleezo was the evilest of all the space grizzlies, and the wicked looking Cloud Castle was where he planned all his evil deeds. When Brother had saved enough money, he went along on a shopping trip to the Bear Country Mall and made his purchase. The Cloud Castle came in a big box and he could hardly wait to get home and play with it. But as he was getting into the car, he saw something that was even more exciting than the Cloud Castle. It was a movie poster. It said, Coming Soon, Space Grizzlies the Movie. A Space Grizzlies movie, he cried. It looks great. I can't wait to see it. I can, said Sister. Looks scary to me. May I see it when it comes, Mama? Asked Brother. May I? May I please? Hmm, said Mama. We'll see when the time comes. When they got home, Brother opened his new cloud castle got out all his space grizzlies, and was all set to play the biggest space grizzly game ever. But he had nobody to play with. Nobody, that is, except Sister. Want to play space grizzlies, sis? He asked. No way, she said. Oh, come on, he said. I'll play any game you want if you play space grizzlies with me. Any three games, she said, driving a hard bargain. Which three? He asked warily. Paper dolls, jacks, and bean bags. She answered. Paper dolls, jacks, and bean bags. He protested. Give me a break. Take it or leave it. She said. He took it, and after some lively sessions of paper dolls, jacks, and bean bags, it was time for. Space Grizzlies! I am Sleezo, evil king of the universe, roared Brother. Calling all spaceships, seek and destroy the planet Magongo, home of my sworn enemy, Hero the Magnificent. Oh, no you don't, Sister shouted back. I am Hero the Magnificent. One touch from my sleep wand and your evil ways will be ended. They played until Mama called them for dinner. Brother, said Mama, how many times must I tell you, no space grizzlies at the table? Papa was taking a peek at the Bear Country News. Brother, he said, that movie of yours starts tomorrow. May I see it, Mama, please? asked Brother. I don't know why not, she said. We haven't been to the movies in a while. I know why not, said Sister. Because it's scary. That's no problem, said Papa. There are lots of movies to choose from. He was right. The Bear Country Theater was really four movie houses in one, and there were usually four different movies playing. This looks good, said Mama. The Magic Toe Shoes. It's a musical about a ballerina. So when they got to the movies the next evening, 
Mama, Papa, and Sister got in line for the magic toe shoes, and Brother joined a bunch of his friends in line for space grizzlies. The magic toe shoes told the story of a young bear who wanted to be a ballerina, but every time she tried to dance on her toes she wiggled and wobbled. The old ballet master took pity on her and gave her a pair of magic toe shoes which cured her wiggles and wobbles. But on the night of her big ballet she left her magic toe shoes on the bus. Without them she was all wiggles and wobbles again. That's when the ballet master told her they weren't magic at all. They were just ordinary toe shoes. The wobbly ballerina got her confidence back and danced beautifully ever after. The Space Grizzlies movie was about space grizzlies, of course. Great, monstrous, big screen ones who zapped and zoomed through space until that final intergalactic shootout. It was very exciting and not a little scary. It was dark when the bear family got home, so it was off to bed for the cubs. It was already late for sister, and she went right to sleep. But brother was so excited by the movie that he lay awake for quite a while. He was just about to doze off when sister woke up screaming. Help! she screamed. They're after me! Who's after you? asked brother. Space grizzlies! she wailed. Thousands of them. Calm down, silly head. It's only a dream, he said. But sister leaped out of bed and ran into mama and papa's room. The little silly, brother thought. Imagine, being afraid of a dopey dream. Then he yawned, turned over, and went to sleep. Mama and papa tried to calm sister. They took her into their bed and hugged her. Tell us about your dream, said Mama. Dream? Sister said. Yes, said Papa. You must have had a nightmare. That's the word for a bad dream. But it was so real, she said, calming down a bit. That's how it is with dreams, he said. It's as if they're really happening, but they're not. They're just in your mind. Can you tell us your dream? asked Mama. It was awful, sister said. I was a ballet star dancing on my toes, and then the stage turned into a giant beanbag board, and the space grizzlies came out of the beanbag holes and chased me, and I fell down one of the holes. I kept falling and falling, and then I woke up. It was awful. She wailed again and buried her face in Mama's nightgown. I'm sure it was, sweetie, said Mama, but it was also very interesting. Interesting, sister said in a puzzled voice. Oh, yes, said Mama. You see, even though you go to sleep, your mind keeps right on thinking. But it doesn't think in a sensible way. It takes all the things you were thinking or were nervous about during the day and puts them together all jumbled like, like a mixed-up jigsaw puzzle. You mean, like the ballet dancer from the movie? said sister. Sure, said Papa. And the beanbag board from playing beanbags with brother, she added. And the space grizzlies, began Mama. We're from playing space grizzlies with brother and from seeing the movie poster, sister said. Exactly, said Papa. Say, she said, that is interesting. That's when they heard brother. Help, he screamed. They're after me, they're after me. Then he raced into the room, jumped into the bed, and hid his face in Papa's pajamas. Calm down, son, said Papa. It was just a bad dream. A nightmare, added sister. That's just another word for bad dream. Can you tell us about it? asked Mama. Well, I was eating dinner, and the food turned into space grizzlies, gigantic ones, and they chased me, and I turned into a paper doll and my clothes were flying off. It was awful. You're awake now, dear, said Mama. Everything's going to be all right. But Mama, he said, it was so real. Of course it was, said Sister. That's the way dreams are. Let me explain it to you. And she did. <laughs> <laughs>